All right, team. So in this video, we're going to look at a schedule that will allow us to quickly evaluate multiple term sheets in the same model. But first, let's quickly run through why you should care. When contemplating an acquisition, the deal team at a private equity firm starts by establishing a partnership, which is funded by the private equity firm's investors, known as limited partners. They will then create a holding company, which will be used to acquire the stock or assets of the target. But to raise the remaining funds, they will first need to secure capital from their lending sources. To do this, a private equity firm will generally reach out to multiple lenders in an effort to secure attractive terms. Evaluating all of the term sheets that are returned can be cumbersome if the financial model doesn't have some additional flexibility built in. To facilitate this process, it can be helpful to add a tab that makes it easy to toggle through the various inputs. To explain how this works, let's first look at a simple debt schedule. In this example, the inputs required are the amount of the loan, the interest rate, and the scheduled amortization. Without a capital structure toggle, each time you want to run a new term sheet through your model to evaluate the outcome, you would have to manually input the cells currently boxed in red. Instead, with this additional schedule, you can cycle through various term sheets with this input. Your debt schedule would then simply link to these values under the column Model. And just so that you can see it in action, we'll press Control X and then tab over and paste the toggle here. So now you can watch the schedule change as we check the various inputs. And fortunately, the term sheet toggle schedule is really pretty easy to build. To take a look, let's press Control X and put the toggle input back where it belongs with Control V. And you can see that the way this formula works is we're using the choose function to cycle through the various inputs from each lender. It really doesn't matter that it's the choose function. You can accomplish the same thing with equals offset. And I've included both examples in this schedule so that you can download it and take a look yourself. In part two, we'll look at linking this schedule into an already active LBO model so that you can really see how much time it saves when you're evaluating different scenarios and the corresponding outcomes. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.